I always get a sense that after a, when you've had a frustrating performance, the week on the training is probably not really what you want, is it? Uh, no, you just want to choose the night game. Yeah, <laughs> you're pretty pretty much spot on. Um, the the week the, the week drags. Um, it just builds slowly, and obviously you want it, you want to just get going again. Um, but that's part of being a footballer. You're not you're not even the best team in the world doesn't win every single game. Do you know what I mean? So it's um, how you deal with those failures, how you look at it, how you pick it apart and, and try and progress and do better, do you know what I mean? So um, you can still take positives from a, from a negative result and hopefully we can do that on Saturday. Yeah, and when you're actually out there on a pitch and, and things aren't going for you, do you just get the sense that it's it's one of those afternoons or do you kind of understand what's going wrong at the time or do you have to look at it afterwards? A bit of both, I think. I think obviously you, you obviously... You kind of get a feeling, oh, that that didn't quite fall, and this didn't, and it was a bit the same at Oxford as well, really, weren't it? It's been probably a, it's been a frustrating like a couple of weeks, really. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's just frustrating, and then obviously you you analyse it, and and um, people do it in different ways. Like I, I I kind of could go through the game and know where I lost the ball, where I did okay, where I did poorly, where I should have done. Do you know what I mean? Where some people you you like to go back through the video. I go I do go back through the video as well, but um, you can go back through a video and we get clips and stuff. So, but it, I, I think I think um, in a whole you just want to play again. Yeah. To be honest, but yeah, that's understandable. And and, and people are pointing obviously at the the lack of goals, and I'm sure that's something that's been worked pretty hard on the training ground this week. Yeah, we we yeah we're still we we work on it hard anyway. But yeah, more so because we we, we just want to have confidence in front of goal and and carry on doing the same things because we are still creating we've created quite a lot of free kicks and corners and we are creating chances as well. Um, obviously, there's probably going to be less chances this year because we've gone up a league, so it's more quality and also. So like the Oxford game, we played really well, and then their their lad sticks one in the top corner. Do you know what I mean? So you're probably going to get little more glimpses of quality as well, which can cost you a game. Do you know what I mean? Because really, if anything, it had nil nil written all over it, rather than or us winning it. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's just. But that they're 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 also lessons learned, aren't they? And um, they're things that we can we can work on. Yeah, and absolutely. And everybody's got their own sort of different roles in, in trying to create more goals. Mm. So are the things that you work on, what when to get into the box, where mm. to deliver those kind of things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How I can, how I can help support my support the side. Um, yeah, my, my forward running, my pressing, nicking the ball. I think nicking the ball high up as well, and, and then creating counter attacks. And yeah, there's ver- yeah there's various things, and obviously everyone has different roles within the within the side. But scoring the goals, obviously, we want to make sure we're all scoring. Do you know what I mean? Not just the the forwards and the midfielders, but centre halves and um, uh, even the fullbacks. So see Brownie, yeah. yeah, Brownie had one, didn't he? So yeah, I think it's, it's the whole team. Do you know what I mean? The whole team can defend us. As a, as a unit and the whole team can score goals as a unit as well so but yeah yeah absolutely and, and then this season so far you, you know you're going to play everybody twice that's the way it works but you've faced a lot of the, the top teams and yeah. there's another one of those coming up this weekend yeah yeah there's two isn't there yeah we've got Plymouth and then we've got Portsmouth so they're, they're two massive games um, and Plymouth are flying so it's going to be another good it's another good test for us isn't it it's, it's a good ground it's a good support and so but yeah, I, I think you <laughs> Every game's going to be tough. I don't. I don't think you can look at it and go, "Oh, these are going to be tougher than these." And you look at the Atkinson game. That was like, and we're at home there, and we stick. Do you know what I mean? So every game's going to be taken um, exactly the same. We've got to make sure we prepare properly, and, and we've been doing that, and we've still got today and tomorrow to carry on. So I just look forward to getting back, getting back playing, and and um, doing the right things, and hopefully we can. Get yeah. a result, yeah. And, and just finally, I guess the building block of any successful side is being strong at the back and, and, and then working from there. So you've definitely got that. You had it last year, you got it again this year, mm. and, and perhaps it's a little bit easier to add the other stuff onto the, the decent foundation. Yeah, I think so. I think we try and we try and make sure we've got a good defensive unit. I think we had like 25 clean sheets last year, didn't we? Something, something like that. So to, to, that's that's a great base to start from. And then I think we, we we try and press quite hard. We try and press and we try and install energy into the game and install our in tempo into the game. So if we can do that at, at Plymouth, hopefully that will um, be a good start, and then we can we can um, build from there. Yeah.